We begin tonight with something that could affect your family. If you die on the job, your employer could be off the hook. And this is coming to light because MoDOT's being sued for the wrongful death of an unborn baby. And the case for its mother, who was a MoDOT employee, has been dismissed. News 4 investigator Susan L. Corey reports on the new twist in our ongoing investigation. Caitlin went to work. She should have came home. Crosses Mark Telegraph Road, where Caitlin Anderson who was six months pregnant, was sent to stripe the road for MoDOT, an assignment her family says she never should have been given. Jack should be here now, five months old. Investigators say a driver suffering a diabetic emergency crashed through the work zone, killing Anderson, her unborn son named Jax, and her co-worker James Brooks. Michael Brown, who was also on the crew, was left with lifelong injuries. Everybody needs to be held accountable for their actions. Anderson's family sued MoDOT for wrongful death and negligence. They just learned Caitlin's case was dropped while Jax's will move forward. Caitlin's life all of a sudden became meaningless. In court filings, MoDOT argued Missouri's workers' compensation law protects them from liability. There's no incentive for the employer to behave safely because they can kill you for free. Andrew Munwiller represents Anderson's family. He says the law requires employers to pay some benefits when an employee dies on the job. The employer, as it stands currently under Missouri law, only has to pay um, up to $5,000 in burial expenses, which um, you can't bury somebody for $5,000. But there's a catch. Under Missouri's law, if an employee isn't married or doesn't have kids who are minors, the employer doesn't have to pay a dime. And this isn't just for MoDOT. It applies to all employers, including private companies. That is a huge hole in Missouri law. And I would hope that reasonable legislators would look at this as an opportunity to fix an injustice that uh, affects a huge segment of Missourians. Mundwiller says things went a step farther in Caitlin Anderson's case. In the civil lawsuit, MoDOT used the workers' comp law to argue it can't be held accountable for wrongful death or negligence. They can go into court and say, well, you're covered by comp, even though they didn't pay you anything under comp and use that as a defense. Where is the recourse in a case like this? For, for Caitlin Anderson, there's none. There's none against MoDOT. There's none against the government. In court filings, MoDOT argued that Anderson's unborn baby, Jax, was an employee too and wanted that case dismissed. The judge didn't agree. It felt good knowing that somebody acknowledged him. Anderson's family counts this as a bittersweet victory, saying a law meant to protect employees should truly be doing that. I can't understand that law. We tried to ask MoDOT about this. A department spokeswoman tells us they can't comment on a pending lawsuit. Anderson's family is also suing the MoDOT supervisor and driver. Both of those cases are moving forward. We'll keep following what happens. Susan O'Corey, News 4 Investigates. This comes after the St. Louis County Prosecutor's Office decided not to file criminal charges against the driver. They claim it was an accident, though News 4 Investigate found that this was the second time the driver had been in a crash that investigators considered a medical emergency. The first one happened three months before the deadly MoDOT wreck. You can see all of our reporting on this right now on your KMOV News app. Tonight